Originally, you know, it has to be, it has to be, um, I guess, extracted from its cultural connotations. The word martyr originally means witness. What we're trying to do, very, very simply, is witness to life and to its sanctity uh, out of our tradition. Um, we are trying to say something about the truth of our times. Um, and the fact that we hang in there over, the, over a period of maybe 15, 16, or 20 years, whatever it amounts to, uh, that's traceable more to our tradition and to events than any sort of fixation or hysteria on our part, compulsion on our part. Uh, that's not true at all. If uh, the war makers would stop making the bombs and would go into disarmament, we'd go back to working with the poor because we, we come from that tradition. Uh, I was serving black people in the Deep South for a very, very long time before I got involved in the anti-war movement. And I'd be delighted, you know, if peace were to arrive and disarmament happened internationally, I'd be delighted to go back to that. Yes, but unfortunately, if you have to spend time in prison, you will not be able to do that again. Yeah, uh, it, well, Americans need to, to um, investigate more deeply, of course, the value of prison witness. Uh, one person in prison for conscience speaks out more emphatically against the crimes of state, see, than 10,000 would from the street who are educating for justice and peace and tradition and so on. Which is to say that if the state is going to lock up some of its best citizens, what does that have to say about the state? You know, that's the value of the person of conscience from right from the early Christian uh, times uh, down through Gandhi and uh, especially in this country. Uh, the prisoners of conscience of this country are perhaps the most notable in the world. And uh, hopefully they will increase in number. I should go. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. much. Thank you.